Hi, my name is Levin Coleman from the University of Melbourne and Swinburne University of Technology, and I'll be talking about our paper titled EpilepsyEcosystem.org Crowdsourcing Reproducible Seizure Prediction with Long Term Human Intracranial EEG. So, in 2013, we ran the world's first uh, clinical trial of a seizure prediction device with the NeuroVista Seizure Advisory System. And in general, seizure prediction is useful for either providing a warning to patients whose seizures who can't predict their own seizures, or applying an intervention whenever a seizure can be predicted, such as electrical stimulation or drug delivery. So our paper involves three main aspects. In 2016, we ran an international seizure prediction competition to evaluate to crowdsource. Uh, thousands of seizure prediction algorithms to find the best ones that could yield improvements in seizure prediction in order to encourage a future and larger scale clinical trial of seizure prediction. We selected the top teams from the contest and applied them to a rigorous held out data evaluation from a much larger data set from the same patients considered in the competition. And then in our paper, we put forth epilepsyecosystem.org as a way to continue evolving these algorithms and to yield greater improvements in seizure prediction to encourage a larger scale clinical trial. So the basic idea behind seizure prediction and the device involved in the trial, uh, we can see the implanted system here in the top left, which records intracranial EEG, and then that goes into an implanted telemetry unit that projects signals to a personal handheld advisory system which provided a, a warning of impending seizures. And on the top right we see intracranial EEG as an example and if predictions occur within a pre period close to a seizure we consider them to be true predictions. If they occur far away from the seizure we consider them to be false predictions. And in the competition we had 478 teams 646 participants and over 10,000 algorithms submitted and the entrance vied for 20,000 US dollars in prize money. The contest closed in December 2016 and after that we've evaluated the top algorithms. So we evaluated the top algorithms on a held out data set using pseudus prospective evaluation metrics plotting sensitivity versus false versus proportion of time in warning for the three most difficult patients from the seizure prediction trial whose patients were the hardest to predict and we basically find that uh, the top teams evaluated perform better than the benchmarks so the top teams here are shown in green in colors and the benchmarks are in black and the black cross shows the original NeuroVista trial result so for patient one and two generally we see improvements in performance whereas patient three improvements weren't as strong and if we consider circadian weighted versions of the algorithm on the bottom, uh, we can see for patient two we get really strong boosts in performance overall, and patient three gets slight improvement, whereas patient one doesn't. And so our epilepsyecosystem.org platform exists online as a website where users can register, and also we will be providing a leaderboard ranking of the algorithm, similar to what was done in the competition. There's a data hosting platform which involves a, a web-based data viewer so people can scroll through the data and view it, as well as the Python APIs for downloading the data. And then people can share and discuss algorithms on a GitHub repository um, referred to as an epilepsy ecosystem organization on GitHub. And then there'll be an independent evaluator to score and rank algorithms on the contest data and then to also annually evaluate the top algorithms in the ecosystem on the full NeuroVista trial dataset, which involves 15 patients. So to register your interest, go to https://epilepsyecosystem.org, and we also would like to thank our sponsors.